Are you aware of the foods that can interfere with your levothyroxine medication? Today, we're peeling back the layers on this crucial topic that often goes unnoticed. The foods we eat can profoundly impact our health. But did you know they can also influence how our medication works? That's right. Some foods can interact with your medication, altering its effectiveness and potentially leading to unwanted side effects. Levothyroxine, a common medication used to treat an underactive thyroid, is no exception. It's a lifeline for countless individuals worldwide, helping to regulate their body's energy and metabolism. But, like with any medication, it's essential to understand how your diet can affect its function. Our journey today will explore some common foods that you should consider avoiding when taking levothyroxine. Our goal? To help you get the most out of your medication and promote your overall well-being. So, buckle up and get ready for a health-conscious ride. Stay tuned as we dive into the specifics of what foods you should avoid when taking levothyroxine. First on our list is soy products. These versatile, protein-rich foods are a staple in many diets, but they can play a tricky role when it comes to levothyroxine. Soy products, including the likes of tofu, soy milk, and soy sauce, contain substances called phytoestrogens. These plant-derived compounds can interfere with the absorption of levothyroxine in your body. Imagine this. You're taking your levothyroxine as prescribed, but unbeknownst to you, those soy products in your diet are acting like little thieves, sneaking in and making it harder for your body to fully absorb the medication. This might result in your levothyroxine not working as effectively as it should. This doesn't mean you have to completely eliminate soy from your diet, but rather, be mindful of your soy intake. Timing also matters. It's generally recommended to wait at least four hours after taking levothyroxine before consuming any soy products. So, remember to keep your soy intake in check when you're on levothyroxine. Next up, we have high-fiber foods. These are typically healthy food choices, but they can interfere with the absorption of levothyroxine. Here's why. Fiber tends to bind with medications in the gut, slowing down their absorption into your bloodstream. This can lead to less levothyroxine getting into your system, and hence lessening its effect. Now, what are these high-fiber foods we're talking about? Well, they include whole grains such as oats, brown rice, and whole grain bread. Fruits and vegetables are also rich in fiber. Think apples, pears, oranges, and leafy greens like spinach and broccoli. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate these foods from your diet. They're packed with essential nutrients and are vital for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Instead, the key is to be mindful of when and how much you're consuming. If you're taking levothyroxine, it might be wise to monitor your fiber intake. Certain fruits also make it to our list. Yes, you heard it right. While fruits are usually champions of a healthy diet, some can interfere with the absorption of levothyroxine. Take grapefruit, for instance. This citrusy delight, with its tangy flavor and abundant vitamin C, can unfortunately disrupt the way your body absorbs levothyroxine. It's due to certain compounds in grapefruit that affect the enzymes responsible for drug metabolism. The result? Your body might not absorb the full dose of your medication, which could lead to suboptimal treatment outcomes. That said, it doesn't mean you need to eliminate fruits from your diet entirely. Many fruits are perfectly fine to enjoy. It's about being aware and making informed choices. So, next time you reach for a snack, remember, the vibrant, juicy grapefruit might not be your best friend when you're taking levothyroxine. So, while fruits are generally healthy, some might not be the best choice when you're on levothyroxine. Iron and calcium supplements are next on our list. It's not unusual to find health-conscious folks supplementing their diets with iron and calcium. They're essential minerals after all. But if you're on levothyroxine, it's crucial to take note. The key reason behind this caution is that these supplements can interfere with how your body absorbs levothyroxine. You see, iron and calcium bind to levothyroxine, making it harder for your body to fully absorb the medication. This can potentially decrease the effectiveness of your treatment. So what's the solution? It's simple, really. Timing is everything. It's generally recommended that levothyroxine be taken at least four hours apart from these supplements. This window of time helps to ensure that your body can properly absorb the medication without any significant interference. Remember, it's not about completely avoiding these essential minerals, but rather managing when you take them. So, consider the timing of your supplements if you're taking levothyroxine. Last but not least, coffee. That steaming cup of joe that kickstarts your day could be hampering your levothyroxine's effectiveness. Here's how. Coffee, especially when consumed shortly after taking your medication, 
can interfere with the absorption of levothyroxine. The caffeine stimulates your gastrointestinal tract, accelerating the transit time of the medication and potentially reducing its absorption. There's no need to panic and abandon your beloved brew altogether. The key is timing. The recommendation is to take your levothyroxine at least 30 minutes before your first sip of coffee. This gives your body an ample window to fully absorb the medication before the caffeine starts to work its magic. So, if you're a coffee aficionado, you might need to tweak your morning routine a bit. Instead of reaching for the coffee pot immediately after waking up, take your medication first and then patiently wait for half an hour. Remember, your morning coffee might need to wait a bit if you're on levothyroxine. Now that we've covered the main food items to avoid, let's do a quick recap. We started off with soy products, a common ingredient in many vegan and vegetarian diets. While soy is often hailed for its numerous health benefits, it can interfere with the absorption of levothyroxine. Soy contains compounds known as isoflavones, which can reduce the effectiveness of your medication. It's not about eliminating soy entirely from your diet, but more about timing your consumption around your medication schedule. Next, we delved into high-fiber foods. Fiber is essential for a healthy digestive system, but when it comes to levothyroxine, it can be a bit of a hindrance. High-fiber foods can slow down the absorption of the medication, reducing its effectiveness. This includes whole grains, beans, lentils, and certain fruits and vegetables. But don't skip out on fiber entirely. It's all about balance and timing. Speaking of fruits, we also discussed certain types that you might want to limit when taking levothyroxine. Grapefruit and strawberries are big culprits here. They contain compounds that can interfere with the absorption of the drug. That doesn't mean you can't enjoy these fruits, but it's best to consume them a few hours apart from your medication. Then we moved on to supplements, specifically those containing iron and calcium. Both of these minerals can bind to levothyroxine, making it harder for your body to absorb the medication. This is particularly important if you're taking supplements for other health reasons. Always consult with your healthcare provider to ensure you're taking your supplements at the right time. Lastly, we talked about coffee. Yes, that morning cup of joe can impact the effectiveness of your levothyroxine. Coffee can speed up the digestion process, meaning your medication might pass through your system before it's fully absorbed. If you can't go without your morning caffeine fix, try waiting at least 30 minutes after taking your medication before you grab your coffee. Throughout the video, we've stressed the importance of a balanced diet. It's not about eliminating these foods and beverages completely from your life. It's about understanding how they interact with your medication and planning your consumption accordingly. Remember, everyone's body is different and what works for one person might not work for another. It's also essential to consult with a healthcare provider for personalized advice. They can provide valuable insights into your individual needs and can help tailor your diet to ensure you're getting the most from your medication. In conclusion, while levothyroxine can be a bit picky when it comes to what you eat and drink, with some careful planning and a bit of knowledge, you can ensure you're getting the most out of your medication. Remember, it's not just about what you eat, but when you eat it. We hope you found this video helpful and that it's given you some food for thought. Your health is a journey, and every step you take towards understanding it better is a step in the right direction. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, your health is in your hands. Make informed decisions about your diet when taking levothyroxine.